Making moves in the summer. That is Tampa's game right now. It seems to be their game often. This is the Lightning Preview. Glad to have you, Lauren Shahadi, alongside our NHL columnist, Wes Goldstein. A very active summer, if you will. What does that mean for Tampa Bay? I think this year, as opposed to last year, the moves they made seem a lot more logical and, and well thought out. There, there's a, a plan in place to improve the team in areas that, that were weak last year. And I think they've done a lot of things. Again, they sometimes seem like a fantasy league type of team, the way they, they move players in and out. But I think this year they, they upgraded their defense. They improved their backup goaltending. They brought in a little more offensive help. I think this team could be a dark horse surprise this year. It's all about the upgrades, isn't it? That's what you fans want to hear, right? Okay, let's talk about the, some of the changes in the offseason. What will the biggest impact be? Where will it lie? Well, certainly I think it's going to be along the blue line. They, they signed Matthias Olin, who's a veteran from, from uh, Vancouver. And he's coming over, and their first-round draft pick, Victor Hedman, is the next it guy in terms of defense. He's big, he's strong, he's mobile. He's 18 years old, but having Olin there to mentor him, I think, is a very smart move on the part of the Lightning. And they had some, uh, they signed another defense from Matt Walker, so I think they're going to be stronger on the back end. And Taro Nidamaki is going to be their backup goalie. I think there's going to be a lot of elements in place that defensively is going to improve that team, which is critical. And they just signed Alex Tange, who's going to play most likely on the first line with Vince LeCavalier and Marty St. Louis. It's kind of the French connection part deux. <laughs> you just named it part deux. Same That's way. Uh, Vinny, everyone wants to know, Vinny, stay in put? I think so at this point. First of all, his no trade clause kicked in July 1st, so he would have the final say on, on going anywhere. And I think the issue uh, in this past season, really, in terms of moving him, has been more along what uh, the mindset has been of Len Barry, one of the two owners who seems to be on his way out. There's been a, 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 an agreement brokered by NHL Commissioner Gary Bettman to give one of them a chance to buy the other one out. We'll say Barry will go, and he's the one that was looking to move LeCavalier and save his salary. I think Oren Kulis, who's going to take over, is going to want to keep him. You talked about Carolina, and we spoke about them in the other Southeast Division preview. They're kind of stay in put. This team, kind of the opposite. How was the outlook? Well, you know, as I said, last year I think there was a lot of expectations around. They made so many high-profile moves and they changed the culture so much last year that a lot of people expected them to do a lot better than they did. And it was, really was a disaster season last year. But I think this year the moves are, are better thought out. I think uh, Brian Lawton has got his feet wet as general manager. And I think with Rick Tockett starting the season as coach with his system, uh, I think you're going to look for some improvement for the Tampa Bay Lightning. We're changing things up, Tampa Bay. Get excited. That's what we need, a little upgrade here. Well, you can watch everything right here at CBSSports.com in the countdown to the NHL season. And we will see you very soon. Thanks for watching, as always.